You may have seen recently that Google Chrome is undergoing some significant changes that affect ad blockers. Primarily, this is due to the transition from manifest version 2 to manifest version 3. So a manifest file is a blueprint of an extension. Uh, it includes information such as the version number of the extension, the title of it, and permissions needed to run the extension. This transition impacts how browser extensions operate with a focus on enhancing security, privacy, performance, and trustworthiness. However, these changes pose challenges for ad blockers in particular, which traditionally rely on a large number of rules to function effectively. And one of the ones that's mentioned in a lot of the articles is uBlock Origin, which is a very popular ad blocker that's a, sort of a lightweight and it's very effective. So interestingly, in reading these articles, I understood that this was a, a Google move, but actually it, the transition from manifest version two to manifest, manifest version three actually goes back to uh, the Chromium project. Now, as you may or may not know, Chromium is the open source browser project upon which Google Chrome is based. So there is a Chromium browser. It looks and acts a lot like Chrome, but it's an open source version. It's not the closed source one that Chrome is. And also, most browsers out there nowadays are based on Chrome. Browsers like Edge and pretty much any other ones you can mention, except for things like Safari and Firefox, are based on Chrome. So all of these are going to eventually get this, this change. Um, as of June 2024, the Chrome beta, dev, and canary channels have started implementing Manifest version 3. The stable version of Chrome will eventually get these changes, and with the full rollout of Manifest version 3 set for roughly the beginning of 2025. So developers and some privacy advocates like the EFF, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, have expressed you know, concerns about these changes, arguing that they limit the innovation and effectiveness of ad blocking technology. Some ad blockers, like uBlock Origin, have released or will release a light version with Manifest version 3, although it won't have the same effectiveness, perhaps, as, a, as the current version. Um, other ad block providers will probably do the same thing. But again, it's they are going to be unless they come up with a completely different sort of technology, they're going to be hampered by manifest version three limiting their ability to do what they're trying to do. Um, browsers like Firefox and like I mentioned Safari, ones like that, uh, aren't based in Chromium and won't really be affected as far as that's concerned. The Brave browser is kind of a different case. They are. Uh, based on Chrome, but they use a, a built-in ad blocker called Brave Shields, and they are saying that will not be affected. Uh, I'll quote from their page. It says, Manifest version 3 will not weaken Brave Shields in any way. And then they say, for as long as we're able, and assuming the cooperation of the extension authors, Brave will continue to support some privacy-related Manifest version 2 extensions, specifically AdGuard, NoScript, uBlock Origin, and uMatrix. So I have been using Brave for a while. I used to be a Firefox user all the time. I have been using Brave for a while. So that's interesting to me, I guess. So while I initially sort of let Google off the hook a bit by you know, stating that this was a Chromium project implementation and not just Google, Google is probably not going to be too, too sad about this uh, hobbling the ad blocker somewhat. Because in 2022, advertising accounted for approximately 90% of Alphabet's total revenue. Alphabet's the parent company of Google, with Google services generating about $250 billion from various advertising platforms like Google Search and YouTube. So I don't think they're crying in their beer about this. Yeah, it seems like the only constant is a change as far as technology is concerned. You get used to one thing working and then somebody changes something and it breaks. And I mean, hopefully this is a good thing. I don't know that it is. I don't know enough about it to know if it's actually will be more secure or better in any kind of way. Right now, it seems to be causing some unrest, so we'll see what happens, I guess. It'll, it'll shake out in the end, I guess. Um, I do have some links down below, so you're welcome to read those. Again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope this was at least a little bit informative. Thanks. Bye-bye.